attention. You're going to learn some very important information in the following few minutes that will enable you to improve your strawberry farming skills. Regardless of your farming experience, a few decades or less, we're sharing insider knowledge on how to grow the freshest, ripest, and reddest strawberries your farm has ever seen. Everything from traditional hand-picking to state-of-the-art technology that will enable you to harvest like never before is covered. What, though, makes strawberries unique? They are definitely delicious, but they also provide some unnoticed health advantages. These tiny red jewels are a great source of fiber, antioxidants, and vitamin C. Thus, while they sate your sweet desire, they also have certain health benefits. Strawberries have a unique capacity to improve the flavor of everything, whether you're eating them as a snack or adding them to a dessert. It makes sense why so many people adore them. Now let's watch the video to learn how to grow some. You know that strawberries are as delicate as they are sweet if you have ever gone strawberry picking. You have to be careful when lifting them up because they are prone to bruising. Since always strawberries have been picked by hand by skilled workers who know just how to remove them from the vine without harming the fruit. These workers have years of experience in the field. Hand work is difficult, time consuming, and let's be honest, not very future proof. Although this approach has been tried and true, let's face it, manual labor is not always easy. The solution lies in technology. Robots are now being added to the farming simulation game. You did hear that right after all. Future fruit picking robots will be able to identify which strawberries are ripe and ready to be harvested, and they will then pick them safely off the vine. There won't be any more wasted fruit, I promise. These robots are quite gentle in order to make sure that the strawberries are not damaged in any way. This represents a huge step forward in agricultural technology and shows how far we've come in fusing innovation and tradition. It should be noted, nevertheless, that this does not rule out the possibility of humans. Conversely, in actuality, competent farmers and this technology go hand in hand. The synergy between human effort and robotic accuracy is what truly creates the magic. This is a fantastic fusion of our familiar conventional agricultural practices with state-of-the-art technology that makes farming more efficient and sustainable. After those strawberries have been picked, whether by hand or by a machine, it is time for them to make their way to the factory of production. This is the point at which things start to get interesting. The strawberries are transported with extreme caution to guarantee that they are not harmed in any way during the journey. Just try to fathom the logistics involved in this. Each strawberry needs to be handled with extreme caution because as I mentioned earlier, these little ones are prone to bleeding easily. The strawberries are prepared for the most laborious aspect of cooking with strawberries, the removal of the hulls, which is typically performed after the initial cleaning. You know that small leafy portion at the top of each strawberry that no one really wishes to deal with? Fortunately, automation has eliminated the necessity for such concerns. Now factories are equipped with robotic limbs that are specifically engineered to remove the hulls with precision and efficiency. Observing it is actually quite fascinating. These robotic limbs are capable of detecting the precise location of the hull and in a single swift motion, detaching it. The strawberry is not damaged and there is no waste. The objective is to optimize efficacy while maintaining the fruit's integrity. And I must inform you that these devices operate at a rapid pace. This high-tech automation enables the completion of tasks that would otherwise require an individual to spend hours manually in a fraction of the time. Nevertheless, you should not believe that the robots are doing all of the work. During the strawberry production process, humans continue to play an important role, particularly when it comes to the inspection and sorting of the strawberries. After the hulls have been removed from the strawberries, they are placed on conveyor belts and then workers visually inspect them to ensure that they are of a high quality. To ensure that each and every strawberry is of the highest quality, trained eyes examine each and every one of them. It is true that machines are helpful in this regard as well, particularly when it comes to trimming any unwanted parts or fruit that is not shaped properly. The workers, on the other hand, are the ones who have the final say when it comes to determining whether or not a strawberry is suitable for consumption. They are aware of everything that should be looked for, from the size to the ripeness to the overall appearance. The importance of quality control cannot be overstated. 
The next stage is reserved exclusively for the very best strawberries. Now, after the removal, they immediately proceed to the cleaning stage of the process. Imagine that this is the first shower that the strawberries have taken after a long day of working in the fields. Large machines are used to wash them thoroughly, removing any dirt or other contaminants that may have adhered to them while they were outside. These machines are placed inside of enormous machines. The amount of dirt that can accumulate when you are cultivating something in the great outdoors is something that will surprise you. In order to ensure that the strawberries are clean and ready for the subsequent stages of production, the washing process is carried out. Once the strawberries have been sorted and inspected, they get another wash. Yep, cleanliness is top priority here. This second wash ensures that any remaining dirt or impurities are completely removed, leaving nothing but clean, fresh strawberries ready for the next phase. After this thorough washing, the strawberries are prepped for canning. This is where things get serious in terms of hygiene and safety protocols. Every strawberry is handled with the utmost care to ensure they're safe for consumption. Factories go to great lengths to minimize human contact with the fruit at this point, using machines and automation to keep everything as sanitary as possible. It's all about ensuring that by the time these strawberries reach your plate, they're as fresh and clean as they were the day they were picked. As we move forward, let's discuss the process of canning. After the strawberries have been prepared, they are put into cans and they are typically accompanied by some kind of preservation liquid or liquid. A fruit juice concentrate is typically used for this purpose as it helps to preserve the freshness of the strawberries while they are stored on store shelves. In addition, the preservation liquid imparts a slight enhancement to the flavor, despite the fact that it does, in fact, slightly alter both the flavor and the texture of the strawberries. But don't worry about it. This is all a part of ensuring that they continue to be delicious and safe to consume, even after they have been canned for a bit. In order to guarantee that each strawberry is preserved in the ideal manner, the canning process is subject to stringent inspections. Keeping that equilibrium between flavor, texture, and shelf life is the most important thing to keep in mind. In spite of the fact that you are eating strawberries several months after they were picked, the objective is to provide you with the most authentic strawberry experience possible. It goes without saying that not every strawberry is canned. To guarantee availability all year round, some are frozen. You read it correctly. Contemporary freezing technology allows us to savor strawberries even after the harvest season has ended, deep into January. The technique of freezing is really sophisticated. In order to preserve the freshness of strawberries, factories use specialized methods for rapid and efficient freezing. Frozen fruit blends, smoothies, and dessert toppings are common destinations for these strawberries. The trick is to get them to retain as much of their natural sweetness and texture as possible in the freezer so that they taste as delicious as the day you bought them. Whether it's summer BBQ season or dessert time during the holidays, these factories can handle large quantities of strawberries, so there's always enough to go around. In case you were unaware, California is responsible for producing approximately 80% of the strawberries that are consumed in the United States. The Golden State is, without a doubt, the undisputed champion when it comes to the production of strawberries. The agricultural sector is thriving as a result of the climate there, which is ideal for the cultivation of these delightfully small fruits. If you are going to enjoy a bowl of fresh strawberries in the near future, there is a good chance that they originated in the warm and sunny state of California. It is incredible to contemplate the magnitude of the production that takes place there, which guarantees that strawberries are accessible to people all over the nation. Let's switch gears now and talk about one of the most beloved strawberry products, jam. Who doesn't love spreading a little strawberry jam on their toast in the morning? 
it's the perfect way to start the day. The jam making process begins with frozen strawberries that have been stored for just this purpose. Once the strawberries are thawed out, they're combined with ingredients like granulated sugar to bring out their natural sweetness even more. From there, the strawberries are cooked down using traditional methods. This is where you get that perfect balance of texture and flavor that makes strawberry jam so irresistible. It's all about patience here. You can't rush the process. The strawberries need time to break down and blend with the sugar, creating that rich, luscious jam that we all know and love. It's a tried and true method that hasn't changed much over the years because, well, why mess with perfection? All right, let's end on a sweet note. Chocolate-coated strawberries. You've probably had these at some fancy event or maybe even made them at home. But have you ever wondered how they're made on a large scale? In factories, chocolate-coated strawberries are made using automation. Strawberries are carefully dipped into melted chocolate using machines that ensure every berry gets an even coating. Once they're dipped, the strawberries are placed on trays to set and then they're packaged up ready to be sent to stores. It's a luxurious treat that combines the best of both worlds, sweet, juicy strawberries and rich, creamy chocolate. And thanks to automation, they're produced quickly and efficiently, ensuring you can enjoy this decadent treat whenever the craving strikes. The strawberries are then subjected to their final inspections after all of this has taken place. To ensure that each strawberry satisfies quality standards, a final inspection is performed on each and every one of them, regardless of whether they are going to be canned, frozen, or transformed into jam or chocolate-coated treats. The final stage is where robotic systems play a significant role, as they contribute to the reduction of waste and the enhancement of efficiency. It is of the utmost importance to ensure that the best product possible is delivered to you and delivered to the door. The strawberries are packaged up and ready to be shipped to stores once everything has been checked and approved. They will eventually make their way into your kitchen after being shipped to stores. And there you have it. From the fields to the factory, strawberries go through an incredible journey to get to your plate. Thanks to advancements in food automation, the process is faster, safer, and more efficient than ever before. But let's not forget the skilled workers who play a key role in ensuring that every strawberry is picked, inspected, and processed with care. It's a beautiful blend of technology and tradition that makes modern strawberry production possible. So the next time you enjoy a fresh strawberry, spread some jam on your toast, or bite into a chocolate-covered treat, take a moment to appreciate all the work and innovation that went into making it happen.